What's going on everyone? It's Alex. I'm back here again in my garage. Just got home from work. It's kind of a crappy, rainy Monday afternoon. Um, but while I was driving home, I decided that I wanted to make a little review video of the steering wheel that I just installed in the G. And if you watched my previous video, you'll know that that is the Redline Goods flat bottom steering wheel. So before I start, I just want to include a little disclaimer in that um, I've never installed an aftermarket or a different steering wheel on any of my cars. I've always just ran the OEM, the stock wheel. So I can't really comment uh, in terms of quality or how the wheel feels compared to other brands. But I'm just going to give my opinion on this wheel, the craftsmanship, the quality, and how I like it so far. So first if we take a look at the, the OEM wheel, it's kind of just your basic, you know, steering wheel. It's like a fake like leather or vinyl type of material, and if you can even see here some of the actual black uh, color coating actually wore away a bit while I was cleaning the wheel one day but like I said overall kind of just your normal generic wheel um, not too much support in the hand area but when you compare it to the rest of the interior with the seats it just kind of has like a fake glossy leathery look to it so now we'll go in the car and I'll show you what I like about the Redline Goods wheel so here's the Redline Goods wheel it reuses the factory horn and airbag the factory uh, audio controls and cruise controls. Uh, this wheel has the flat bottom, so it's more of a sporty look to it, and as well as it has better gripping uh, for your hands at the uh, 3 and 9 position, as well as the 10 and 2. So pretty much anywhere you hold this wheel, on the sides, the corners, the top, it's got a really nice supple feel to it. It's actually made with high quality Napa leather. It looks a lot nicer, more supple than the uh, OEM wheel. Another thing that I love about this wheel is how nice the fit and finish is. Everything fits perfectly uh, because you have to swap over the audio controls and the cruise controls. Everything fits back on amazingly. Uh, the airbag sits in perfectly. You know, nothing sticks up or, you know, is um, of poor quality. The stitching is a great quality. And I also have to add that this steering wheel, uh, the perforations, you know the color combination all the stitching that's all made custom order so you can always change the color of the leather uh, if you want the perforations all around if you don't want it at all uh, i really like how the perforations here match the perforations on the seats and i even think the leather that's on the top um down here on the bottom i even think it matches the the side pieces the side bolsters of the seat even better than the oem uh, wheel and I think overall this wheel flows a whole lot better with the interior than the uh, OEM original wheel. Uh, this would have been nice to kind of have as a factory option from Infiniti. It's kind of similar to some of the options uh, for the BMW and the Audi wheels. I really do like this wheel a lot. All right, so that's my little review of this uh, steering wheel and my opinions. Uh, I think the fit and finish on it is great. It's a really high quality. I highly recommend it. Uh, I know it's a little bit more of the expensive side. This feels about six or six fifty, brand new. But if you factor in that it's handmade, it's custom with all the you know leather pieces and the stitching, it's really not a bad price. You know, things that are custom are going to be more money. Also, if you compare it to an aftermarket racing wheel, those wheels range, you know, for a decent wheel range from three hundred to four hundred, maybe even five hundred dollars. And then that doesn't include the, the hub that you have to buy to adapt it. So all in all, I don't think it's a bad price. Plus, you can retain your factory airbag as well as your factory controls, which is very convenient. It's a plug-and-play uh, design. So between your steering wheel and your shift knob, those are the two main things you're using when you're driving the car. So it's nice to have something that feels nice. And then obviously that looks nice, you know, something to look at. That's one of the first things you see when you get in a car is your steering wheel. So all in all, very happy with my purchase. I would do it again, and I highly recommend it to anybody that's considering it. If this is something you're considering, go check out the link that I'm going to place down in the description. Uh, if you click on that link, you can save 5% on your order. If the steering wheel is a little bit out of your price range, they also make high-quality steering wheel uh, covers or wraps. You can apply them yourself and give it a nice, uh, sporty, and quality look. Redline Goods also sells um, shift boots as well as some other interior products. So if you're looking to spru spruce up your interior a little bit, check them out. I myself plan to order some additional parts from them in the future. So like I said, check out that link down in the description. You can save 5% on your order on some high quality products. So thanks for checking out my little review and opinions on the steering wheel. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions about this steering wheel or anything else, please drop a comment down below. I'll be sure to answer anything. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Please press subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, turn on those notifications as well to stay up to date with everything. And as always, thanks so much to my current subscribers and viewers. I really appreciate it. All right, guys, so I have to run. I have some stuff I have to take care of this evening. But again, thanks for watching. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.